Hi, welcome. Today I wanted to talk about the strategy pattern which can be useful. And uh, for example, let's say you have a sequence of steps that you need to complete to uh, get to a product or get something done. Uh, you can actually apply that pattern to that as well. So just to give an example of how it would normally be, uh, normally it is defined as something that is a strategy. You can have multiple strategies and then uh, for each of those strategies, uh, let's say you have some way to do it, an algorithm, uh, you could have various different strategies. So say one of the strategies could be to uh, do something faster or slower or so on. So let's just go over and take a concrete example and I will go over through some improvements that we can make to this as well. So to define the strategy is pretty simple. You can define an interface with a strategy and, and for let's say uh, this is for a sequence of steps. So you want to have a context that can go from one step to another step. So you can also define a context. And I've already defined a context that we can use and uh, let's see uh, what it is. And the context is uh, essentially uh, has some data, but I've not added all the data I need, but I'm essentially added a one, one uh, property called continue and it is set to true. And this is so that if a particular step fails, it can set this uh, continue to false and we can exit it. Uh, so that's an improvement you can make. So how do you uh, uh, create some st uh, steps from a strategy? So I have some steps already, but I'm going to create one step uh, just to show you how to do the step. So you can just say uh, create a step and let's say uh, this step is just to paint and uh, we can create a class called paint and at this point we will be uh, essentially uh, implementing the interface for I strategy and uh, you can see it says implement the I strategy interface. And the way we are going to implement that is pretty straightforward. We would just say if context dot continue, if it is continuing, then we can just do console dot right line and say uh, painted car or something like that. And let's say we would have a step uh, like this and it's telling us that we need to, uh, if you modify the context, we need to return the context. So we can return the context. And uh, so that's basically all that is involved in doing, uh, uh, creating a new uh, uh, concrete step from a strategy is to execute, uh, essentially define this execute method and you can do this. So how do you use this uh, in, in your program? So what I've done is as I showed you, I have already created some other ones like body. It's the same pretty much. It says body paint is one I showed you right now and we have tires. So uh, what we want to do is uh, essentially have something called all steps and I'm going to close this uh, close, close this side because now you don't really need to distract ourselves with all this. So let's say uh, what we can do is we can also create an all step strategy, which is also another strategy and it will have an execute method. And in this execute method, we what we want to do is uh, get all of the steps that are needed and execute them. And if you look at the definition of uh, underscore steps, it is essentially I numerable of I strategy. And uh, when you are initializing this strategy, uh, in the constructor itself. So all steps here is a constructor. You can just add the strategies that you wanted to initialize. So example, tires need a context. Uh, for simplification, I said body didn't need a context, but you can add this. And uh, we can also add this new uh, strategy that we already uh, created for you called the paint right now and see how that works. So now uh, uh, what has happened is uh, we have a strategy called all steps and it will execute all the steps. So how do you call it in the program? It's pretty straightforward. Basically, first you get a context. Uh, to build a car, we need to do all the steps. So we will call the all steps the strategy. And then uh, we, once we have the steps, we will just execute them. So if you run it in the terminal, you can see how that works. So here you can see uh, hello world was in the beginning, then we order tires, 
then we order the body chases and we paint our car or whatever we had painted that time. So this is actually a pretty uh, straightforward ways to combine these strategies and to be able to execute that. So I wanted to go over another uh, little, uh, I guess, nuance or if you wanted to uh, make this a little bit uh, different into how you read through these steps, uh, what you can do is uh, something called a chain strategy. So let's take a look at uh, what a chain strategy does. Chain strategy, just like any other strategy, will obviously inherit from or in implement the interface I strategy. And uh, when it executes, basically when uh, it, ha it obviously has the context. So what we'll do is uh, we will execute first strategy. And then when the first strategy is done, we will uh, execute the next strategy and return the context. So it's basically uh, going to execute uh, two strategies, one the first strategy and the, one, the other one is the next strategy. So if you look at uh, how this chain strategy does is in the constructor, you can give it uh, two strategies, first and next, and we are just storing it there. And whenever the execute method calls, we will do this execution. So that's pretty good. Um, to make it a little bit more easier into how we can call it in C Sharp, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an extension that is uh, similar to what you might have seen called like a then. So then is pretty straightforward. This is an extension. It works on this strategy first and I strategy next. And all this is going to do is uh, take these two strategies, the first one and the next one, and uh, chain them through the method which I already showed you, the chain strategy, and just return this chain strategy. So now we are actually ready to create this uh, uh, alternate way of specifying the steps uh, through then. So let's try to do that. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, to uh, do this simplification. I've already copied some code and I'm going to comment out this existing code and I'm going to call it the alternate way of doing things. So let's just uh, copy that. So instead of doing this way where we added all, we, we added all these things, we are going to do uh, what is called the alternate way. And I'm going to comment this stuff out here because we don't want to do it this way. So in an alternate way, we can say first we get the tires, then we will do the new body, then we'll do the new tires. And obviously we have to add our paint, which we did, then a new paint step. So uh, we obviously now uh, have created an alternate way, which is just a strategy. So when this strategy needs to be executed, instead of going through all these steps, uh, we can comment this out. And all we need to do is to execute our alternate way dot execute and we need to give it the context obviously. And uh, that's pretty much it. We need to, uh, and we can just say context. Yeah. So now this would be uh, uh, another uh, little bit a different way of reading this. You can see it says first do the tires, then do this, 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 and then, and let's see what results it uh, does. And you can see the result should be pretty much the same as what we got before. And that's actually uh, pretty much uh, true. So this is a, a very interesting way of doing things. Another thing you can do is for some reason, you find that you need to reorder these things or do something again, you can also do this. So for example, uh, somehow we have a way of figuring out that we had some defective tires and we want to add uh, a spare tire. We can also uh, do it this way. And so instead of tires, we would have spare tires, but I'm just demonstrating it to you that it's pretty easy to add the steps and it's pretty flexible. You don't need to change everything to be able to do that. And uh, once you do this, this you can see that it is obviously ordering the tires again, which hopefully maybe is a spare tire. So that's actually a pretty good pattern that you may want to use in your design and uh, programming. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to my website and the Gaur So C sharp strategy pattern in however many minutes it took me to do this video. Thanks and you have a great day.